tutorial, I'm going to explain how to use Wix to create a website. Let's start. Using any browser, you can find the Wix page by typing www.wix.com. So this is the Wix page. The first thing you have to do is to sign in. So you can sign up using your Google account, Facebook account, Apple account, or any email. So I'm going to use email address to log in. I have the account already, so I just log in here. You can see here, this is my site. And here, these are my sites that I created earlier. One of these page is already published and some other pages not published yet. I can publish it anytime I like. To create the new website, I can click here, create new site. The first question asked by Wix is, what kind of website are you creating? So you can type what are the things that you want to sell, for example, food. Then I might want a shop that's selling food, so I will click food shop and next. The next question asked by Wix is, what do you want to add to your website? You can see that the online shop is built in to your website. Besides that, chat is being added to your website. You can unclick it if you do not want the chat function. You can add on other functions here like booking, pricing plan and others. So click whatever you like and click next. Next, Wix will ask you to choose how to create the website. You can allow Wix to create a website for you by clicking here. Or you can create the website yourself by using the editor. And with plenty of templates provided for you, it will make it very easy for you to prepare a website for yourself. So I will choose to edit a template. There are many templates provided for you. For example, food photographer, online grocery store, fast food restaurant, and others. So you can choose whatever you feel like suitable to your shop. For example, you might have a look at the website before you choose it. So you can create view. Now I'm viewing the best donut template here. If you feel that this is something that you like, then you can click edit this site. If you do not like this template, you can go back to the previous template to start selecting choosing again. So I'm going to edit this site. I'll click here, edit this site. This is the template prepared by Wix. Anyway, you can change it whatever color, you can edit whatever things you like. So let me introduce the function here available here. So the first icon on the left with the word add, it means you can add whatever thing you like here. You can either add a stripe. Stripe is something that you can use as a background for introducing yourself or a welcome note or any any page that to show your team's member. You also can add in text. They are heading or team text, they call it. Or there are titles here or paragraphs that you can add in. You can choose the format and start to add in here. Besides that, you can add in your own image by uploading your own image using here. Or you can choose the free image available in the Wix. Next, you can look at the button. The button is something that the viewer or the visitor can click when they are looking at your page. So you can ask them to view more or you want them to download or you want them to join you as a member or anything then you can use this icon here. And the next will be the gallery. Gallery is something that very interesting because you can show few photos in one gallery. So it allows you to show more things to the audience. You can also decorate it with uh, different shapes, different features and different things to make it nice and beautiful. You also can add in music 
and video here in the in the tab website so another thing very important i will recommend you must add in is the social bar in which you can show to the visitor your instagram link or facebook let them click and go into your facebook and in or instagram or any other online social media platform right so next icon is the menu and pages you can see here they are one two three four five six there are six pages here but not all the pages are allowed visitor to view so let's say the first page like home is not uh, open to view so you can choose to show it to the audience and then about page is also uh, is open for view menu page is open for view contact and online order is not open for view so if you do not want certain page to open for view you can just hide it for example if i do not want to show the contact us i rather let them to um, select the other icon then i will hide it okay i can hide it otherwise i can just maintain it anyway if you feel that the pages are not enough you can always add on page so by click add page you can add on the page here so you can add page about yourself about the team page about the services or projects This is the page about the projects you are doing or page about contact general or even the landing page. Landing page will give you some uh, important information when people click your email or anything. Eh? So this is the landing page. Page about coming soon, page, page about uh, here, this is the landing page. Eh? So if you do not want, you can just close this right and you also can look at the sign up and log in you can add sign up and log in here so allow people to become member of your page or you can add in uh, improve the store page here by improving the product page shop page and cut page if you want or the member page and next thing is your site design this is important because this view uh, you can decide your themes or you can change the background the coloring here using the theme eh? so you can customize it uh, using another color tone that you like um, yeah it depends on your, on your creativity you can choose different color or different text and another important function here in the Wix website is Wix allow you to add in some apps to your website. So some of the, these apps are available by Wix and some are from external party, for example, PayPal, Currency Converter, Online Store. And Wix also have their own apps provided for you for booking, for any other things. You also can choose um, apps for team, team building kind of things so there are a few other choices for you to choose from and yeah these are some of the very important icons for you to use beside that here you can see that the page that we are referring to actually is the home page by referring to this if you want to go to the different pages you have to click here and go to the different pages in the Wix because now we are maintaining it so this page is not published yet you can choose to publish it anytime but before you publish it remember you have to preview it you can have to view it using a desktop view or a mobile view first and i always recommend my um the website builder to to check both version desktop and mobile version before you publish it because this will affect the audience view anytime eh? and beside that remember that 
uh, you do have auto save right so however you still can click the save anyway if you like to save it the auto save and when you save it right remember you can change the site name right you can change the site name to any name that you want if you do not want to save this at the moment you can just uh, uh, go out from here first okay so if you do not have the club and you do not plan to allow them to sign up as the club member yet so you can delete here join the club and get reward you can just delete this part how to delete just click it once and press delete in your keyboard so it's disappear all right so and then next here this is the logo logo of the company you can change the logo so you can change the art if you do have your own logo you can change your own logo by uploading the media or you can use any other logo or art available if you wanna Besides that, you can change the name of the company. Let's say I change the name as uh, Sweet Cookies. Let's say uh, this is the company name, Sweet Cookies. So I will change the name as uh, Pastry. Pastry Shop instead of uh, Donut Shops. And then, if I do not want them to order online, then I can just delete this button, order online. Okay, if I just prefer them to, to order using different way, or you can just check the link. The order online is by page. You can also allow them to order using phone number as well. For example, order online using contact number, so I will put my contact number here. So this is the new, not the real number, say. Yeah, I, so when customer click it, customer will see my contact number. And I can change the text. If I don't want them to order online, I just ask them order. Okay, order now. So they know that um, I might not uh, ask them to order online if I want to order I just click here and they will get the number the next thing is I can even change the layout to make it uh, further to the left or to the center or to the right so yeah I maintain that I like to change a little bit of the color I don't really like the blue color so I can change it to maybe this or this yeah maybe or this one hmm? so it's up to you to try and error before you choose the one uh, more suitable to your to your page maybe this is the one all right let's say i'm using this one okay i'm using this button or this button yeah maybe this is right so just you can see that I already changed it and the icon is somewhere here instead of here. right so this is my login bar and I am not planning to allow them to become member of the website so I can just delete it by press the delete button in my keyboard yeah when you delete it the website will ask you whether you really want to delete it or not so you say press ok right so it's done for the first part of it cover the upper part looks nice next i like to add on some icon of my social media here so that the viewer or the visitor can just click the icon to go into my instagram or facebook account so i will add the social so i can choose this one and arrange it somewhere here okay so you might not have all the social media you can delete it by clicking it 
delete here you need just maintain two most important media that I'm using at the moment and click here and change the link it's very important for you to change the link so I change the link to my own company's Instagram account and you can allow either they open it in a new window or current window but for social media i prefer them to use it in the new window or you can add on um, other link uh, beside this uh. so just done and then same thing for my facebook i can do it by right here changing the link of my to my facebook account link and click done beside that i might want to add some other things for example i expect my customer like to use whatsapp so i can add in whatsapp contact number here mm, you can arrange it there change the link so this is the website address or email all right so for my whatsapp i'm using the website address here so it's not my real number anyway all right so this is done so press done and it's here so i can arrange it anyway i'd like so as far as it's nice and beautiful and for this menu i also can improve a little bit to change the design to make it nicer to have different color different theme yeah is very much depending on how you want it to look like so yeah this is the one and then you can change a little bit of the layout and so on so next I might want to change the details here I might change to nice home meet cookies so this is the text setting you can use this to set the text to be a bit bigger or smaller in font size or change the color of the font This is the photo available here. It's always up to you to change the stripe background. You can add in your own media, media or your own photo here or you just can use anyone available in the website. So you can use this one. This is the stripe. So you, you can change it and then after that you can add on some details on it also can. Let's say instead of a, my thumbs, I put it here. Yeah, I can do it something like this. And then I can have more description here by adding some text. I might want to add in some words here. Yeah, anything about cookies huh? so anything 
that line I can add in here to make it nice yeah. and change the alignment or the color You can add in some link if you want or you can actually change the words if you doesn't really like it so you might have something that cute and funny yeah then the next thing is you might change all this picture by manage the gallery this is the gallery so you can delete the photo and then add your own media your photo your image or your video from your own laptop so after you did it then it will be done just delete it and then add in your own image and you can add in the description as well so if you don't want the order online you can just delete it and come get your favorites so whatever details here you can change and the most important thing you have to change is the address so say I change to my address here my contact number my yeah my email So I say this is my contact number. And the operating hours also you need to change. Next is the follow us. Here there are some Instagram, Facebook and TikTok here. So you have to remember to change the, the link. Yeah, to change the link by clicking here however I do prefer to use the icon rather than words here so I will delete it and I go to copy from the top just right click and copy it and then go down again to here this part and then paste it here so yeah, arrange it and then check the link whether it's still correct yeah it's still correct so it's done and the last thing to remember here is this part so the form setting here remember the form is about get subscribed but you can go to to change it to anything and then at the same time you can also set up the email notification to notify you if someone subscribe to you so you can set here and at the same time you can add few it means that beside email address what do you want them to give you for example the name so you just add in here you can see that when I add in the name First name, I should delete this. Yes. So after I add in, it looks a bit too big. So I have to arrange this. Yes. You want to arrange it. And the whole thing going up a bit. Let's say not enough space, I still can enlarge this okay by clicking stretching it yes stretching it so this one ok 
can be dragging a bit down yeah dragging a bit down and if you notice one thing is here this is the chat chat huh? so if you do not want this you can just delete it or if you want it you can use um set the chatting here by clicking the setting here manage the, the setting chat setting but if you do not want people to chat with you using the quick chat then you can always just delete the delete it right click to delete it so maybe done right so do not forget to change this huh? so change to your company name year and company name this is a very small thing but people really look at this to to check is this a real website huh? so you have to let people know this is created by you all right let me look at this uh, in terms of preview how it's look like in the desktop format click preview to look at this so it's look like this I also can change into hand mobile view so mobile view will look like this this is just a preview so you can always go back to editor to change it anytime before you publish anyway even after you publish you always can go back to change it when it is necessary so I will go back to my desktop view dashboard back to editor back to editor the view and when you are done you just click publish to publish this site so that people can see if you do not click publish people can't see your website right so that's all for today thank you for watching my video thank you